Hello guys, how are you? Welcome to the second chapter of Linux Mint tutorial. Today I want to um, I want to talk about the file manager uh, Nemo in uh, Linux Mint. So let's go. As you can see, there are some files here on the left and also there are some icons uh, here on the right. Today I want to talk about this one, the files. When you click on that, so uh, you have a uh, uh, similar uh, window to the windows so it's not a big deal to work with it today uh, I will uh, go in detail uh, and I will uh, explain the, uh, the functionality of this window and uh, all the uh, icons that you can see here so this one is the uh, as you can see it, this is goalie so uh, this is the name of uh, this directory so it's the name of the user is me so it means this one is uh, the, something like uh, the user in Windows and uh, here the name is uh, Goli, so it's in Linux and this uh, directory Goli is under directory of home and uh, uh, about the directories and the hierarchy of Linux uh, I will uh, teach you in uh, next videos. So the first thing that I want to talk uh, is the files which are here so desktop documents downloads the music pictures public templates and the videos all of them are the, the personal files for you that all your documents and your uh, everything which is related to you your job or your uh, studying uh, whatever whatever you think uh, so you can put them here uh, and uh, the first one is uh, i want to talk about file edit view go bookmarks help uh, which are here the first one is file when you click on that so you have uh, some options the new uh, the new tab new window create new folder and something the first one is new tab if you click on that so right now you can see here uh, you have two tab this one and uh, this one and this one they are the same uh, because maybe sometimes you need to work uh, simultaneously in two different tabs and uh, you can use this option so let me close one of them the next one is new window if you click on that so you have a, a completely new window of home that's it the next one is create new folder so if you click on that you will have a new folder here so let me save it personal yeah you can see here uh, this file added the next one is the create new document so if you click on that so for example uh, yeah, sample sample.txt uh, so you have this uh, file here this document uh, the next one is uh, um, the connect to the server and properties uh, so the properties is the uh, same as properties in windows uh, you can see the free space, the location, the name of the file, the permission, the share option, and uh, here the share option so you can uh, share these files and permission and all the basics that you need uh, to uh, adjust the file or uh, some information about the file. The next one and is the close all window or close so uh, you will close the window if you click on them. The next one is edit here. The redo and uh, some uh, cut, copy, or select all. Let me delete this one, for example, the sample. I delete it. And if I uh, um, click on undo, so you will have it here again. And also, if you if I click on redo, so it, the, it will go ahead one step, so uh, I don't have this file. Another one is select select all so it will be the all files uh, will be selected here and uh, some uh, some uh, some routine uh, 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 some routine uh, things that you can do with the files are here so the compressed the uh, preferences and uh, yeah they are the simple uh, actions that you can do the next one is view uh, view you can see some of them are uh, checked some of them are not for example uh, the main toolbar if you click here 
you don't have the main toolbar again which was here and if you check it again so you have this toolbar here and about the menu bar the status bar and all the things that, uh, which are here you can click on that so you can check it or uh, uncheck it and you have some uh, extra panel or bar uh, next or around this table around this window the next one is zooming so if you click on this so you can see the, fi uh, yeah, the, the files are bigger and so the zoom out is the same so it's in the reverse way and the normal size and the icon view list view compact view so you can right now you can see this is icon view which is green and now if i click on list view so the files would be in the list so you have more information about the files uh, when they are the uh, the the, modif uh, the modification the modification date and the, the type the size everything and the compact view so you have the the uh, you have this view of these files i try uh, i prefer to be in the default so the go is uh, you know with this one you can go directly to the another directory for example right now i'm in download if i click on home so i will go to home or uh, i'm in desktop if i click on template I will go to the template yeah that's it it's not so complicated uh, the bookmarks so right now we are in home if I uh, bookmark uh, this one so uh, the the directory uh, the yeah the, 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 the home directory goes to the bookmark and edit bookmark so remove it yes that's it and uh, the next one is help help uh, there are about this about is nemo which we are talking about and <clears throat> uh, the next one is keyboard shortcut you can see here some useful shortcuts for uh, the linux uh, you can use them there are three pages provided uh, for you here and uh, maybe after some uh, sometime that uh, you use the linux so you, you can use them uh, and uh, by using them you are faster in uh, working with linux and the last one is all topics if you have the internet connection and click on all topics you will directly uh, directly go to the linux mint web page on inter internet and uh, i choose the english language here so you can see i have uh, th here you can find the um, uh, and information and every, uh, you can go to different forums and uh, you, you know that here you can see the install linux or uh, this is the, uh, the linux mint uh, guide and you you will have uh, many many useful information you can find here and you can uh, verify your uh, iso image and everything everything uh, so uh, this one is really really helpful i prefer i suggest you uh, to use that so I already explained the, this uh, file edit view and uh, all of uh, this toolbar. So now I want to go to the another uh, direction, another side. Uh, I mean here. So let's come back to Goli. So here you can see I am changing the style of folders, which uh, which it was accessible uh, also in view. So you can use them uh, which one you want. I prefer this one and also uh, here the, there is a uh, you can search the folders here for example uh, you are looking for a specific specific a sold a specific uh, folder and uh, you can search the name here and you can find it same as uh, other operating systems such as macs or windows and this one uh, as you can see for example here let me change it so right now i'm in goalie directory and subdirectory download so if i click on this one we can see the slash home slash goalie so this one is a uh, when you want to work with the command line for linux you should use uh, this is the uh, this uh, type or this strategy slash home slash goalie or uh, this in this way you can type to the, the um, core of the linux in the C, uh, C, command line cli 
and uh, this one these three arrows the the back and the head so if you are in download so click back you will go back to goalie and if you click on this one you go you want to step ahead and this one uh, if you this one is uh, for the hierarchy of uh, linux so right now you are uh, we are in goalie and uh, if i um, select or click on this arrow again i will go to home can can you see here is goalie uh, home goalie download so i will go to the download if i click on this i will go to goalie and again i will go to home you know this is the hierarchy of the linux so because uh, download is under the directory of goalie and goalie is under directory of home so you can navigate there and again let me uh, so this one is file system here you can see the file system uh, it looks like a bit complicated and right now it's not necessary to use that uh, to use that for new users because uh, i i will make a, another video especially just for the file system and i will let you know uh, what is being what is boot and all of them i will talk about all of them but right now it's not necessary for the new users in mint uh, to deal with that this one you can see uh, three icons here the left one which is green now uh, they are there are uh, some different styles for the files which are here you can see my computer here and by clicking on home you, you will go to home or desktop video download you, you can see here the files are changed and uh, here again file system and also the network or trash so network is connecting to the uh, network or your file online this one uh, is changing the this type uh, this type uh, and these shapes uh, so you can see here right now is uh, root design so you can click on file system you will see the files here and if you click on home you can see the home uh, the, the folders under the home here and also this one it will be uh, this toolbar would be hide by clicking on this and right now we will have it again about uh, <clears throat> uh, about uh, the text which are written here so right now nine items so because the number of items which are here if i delete for example personal so right now you can see there are eight items here the free space would be uh, almost a 13 gigabyte because you have the, the, this uh, space is free and this slider here is for zooming zoom out and changing the type of uh, uh, changing the size of uh, the these icons which are shown here right now i almost um, explained uh, everything in this window and for the last part i will go uh, to the, these files for example if you right click on this file you have the f open open in new tab open in new window copy pin rename so all of them are familiar uh, for you but uh, for example this one opening terminal if i click on this you will have uh, this one this folder in terminal see goalie virtual machine and under the directory desktop because i click on desktop to open in the command line so you can use it and uh, when you want to open this uh, these files in uh, command line for example this one again open in terminal right now this one is document i will uh, let you know about this uh, environment i'm in the uh, command line so don't worry uh, i will provide a series a playlist for this one again after uh, teaching uh, linux mint so i will go through the command line teaching so no worry i will let you know and i will teach you how they work and uh, another option is uh, so open as a root same as uh, open uh, uh, run as administrator in windows and compress here if you click on compress here you will uh, ha you will see this window the file name the location is under the goalie directory and the tar.gz this one is uh, one of the types or uh, one, of, yeah, one of the type that you can uh, compress your files in linux so right now we don't need it but i will uh, let you know how they work how you can zip unzip the files in, in linux 
so for now the, this is enough and you can see here the location as i told you where do you want to um, where do you want to put the compressed file in this uh, uh, computer and uh, for the last one if you right click here so there are some colors here and uh, i i clicked on music so i want to have this one in red so you can see the folder of music is red uh, so the download uh, i like it uh, in blue so you can then specify the colors for each folder for example one of them is really more important to you uh, so that you can do it it's uh, it's not too hard and actually it's really easy and so if i want to uh, make it as a default so i will click on here with the cross and uh, the last one is properties again so you have the name the location the free space permission share and, and emblem so i will talk about them but for now i think it's okay so okay uh, it was everything for this session uh, thanks for watching goodbye